The average Fortnite player has improved a ton over the past year, but we're still seeing a load of examples where players get into fights only to end up spamming their builds like a headless chicken. What's up, Fortnite's fam? I'm Cody, and today we're going to be turning you into the ultimate Fortnite fighter by going over some incredible peace control drills from some of the best Fortnite map creators. So for peace control drills, a lot of you probably already know about Raider 464's map. But recently, we came across a new peace control map we think is definitely worth sharing. This one's by Don Wazi, aka the same guy who made the most famous Fortnite aim trainer. So here we are guys, when you spawn in, you'll have weapons on your left and recommended maps on the right. Huge shout out to him for making such excellent maps. We'll leave links to his socials so you can check out more of his creations in the description. But in this map, you can go to the drill section and here, Don Wazi set up 15 different peace control drills. Let's go through them one by one and I'll try to talk about how you're going to use them in real matches. For drill number one, you cone floor over the opening, double edit through, and then look down and place walls and a cone inside. Simple, yet powerful. And you'll be using it to trap your opponent whenever you're above them in a box fight and they try to expand. And sometimes you can even do it preemptively. So instead of waiting for them to claim the pieces first, you can do this in anticipation of them moving. And a lot of the time, they do end up expanding right into it. Anyway, when you're done with the drill, just emote to head back into the main room. Drill number two is similar to the first, but the difference is no cone in the bottom. You're only placing walls because you'll be using this move during build fights when players are ramping up at you. Something we want to mention about this move and the last is that it's not a bad idea to reset and hold your floor after you finish placing the pieces below. That's about the timing when players will realize what's going on and look up to trade shots when you might be exposed. So resetting and holding prevents that and you can then edit a right hand peek. Maybe put down a wall first and then edit it so your shot doesn't get blocked and go for the shots. And guys, if you wanna be hitting these shots, if you wanna be the best you can possibly be, we've got clicks in the building now. He's got tons of tips and tricks that are only available at proguys.com. We'll see you over there. And don't forget, the link is down below. Drill number three. It has you place a wall in front of this ramp and then what you're going to do is edit a window, cone to the top of the ramp and place walls all around. We're pretty sure that this is supposed to simulate when an enemy might try to take your wall and this is just a quick way to box them. Maybe make them panic and prevent them from escaping any right hand peaks or jump shots you then go to throw at them. In drill quattro, drill number four, your job is to cone the ramp, build a wall to your left and right, edit out one of the sides, reset the wall, and create a window edit to the right hand peak. This is something you'll use when an enemy ramps over you, which is usually a bad situation, but this turns it into a good one where you have the advantage. If you wanna make it a little more tricky, start by walling in front of the ramp and editing through before you cone. Since if your opponent uses a protected ramp rush, they'll place a wall there and you won't be able to do this. Drill five is just some mongrel classics, so nothing new, but this is still great practice. I do want to note that the bots alternate where they stand. They're sometimes on the left and sometimes on the right. But one tip we can give is to make bottom corner edits since those give you a favorable angle on your opponent's legs. Also, don't only practice replacing with your pickaxe. Use your weapons as well, just like you would in a real match. Next up is the Calc Classic, where you build a wall, edit a middle window, cone the top and bottom, and then build walls all around your opponent. This is one of the best methods to box an enemy, but you have to be quick and careful. Speed is vital here because the window edit will expose you. So preferably position on the left side of the middle window, or at least as much as you can so that you will still place every wall. Then as you put up those walls, move leftward a bit since that will get you behind cover before going for shots. Alternatively, you could reset your wall instantly and find another opening. But for the most part, just try to get the crosshair placement and motions down to create this full box as quickly as you can. Now the next drill is when things get kicked up a notch. But real quick, if improvement is what you're after, 
Pro Guides has a service where you can upload your gameplay and get instant feedback from our coaches. It's one of the only ways you can get a real pro player to point out your mistakes and how to fix them. So if you're interested in that and plenty more, check us out in the description below. All right, so Drill 7 does heat up quite a bit. First, you'll be doing a Mongrel Classic to kill the first bot. A second bot will then spawn to the side, and you're to wall that side, edit it, slide in a cone, and then build two more walls in the back. Now this type of predictive peace control is ridiculously useful for box fighting, as players often edit out to the side when they see you taking their wall. So whenever you spot your opponent next to a side wall with their blueprints, you should assume they're about to expand, and you can bust out this move. Now Drill 8 is one of the harder ones. Basically, you ramp up and triple edit. So floor, cone, edit through both, wall, then edit that. And the description says to cone and wall your opponent, but in our experience, that leaves you way too vulnerable. So after you triple edit, you're better off either A, just shooting your opponent if they're in your face, or B, ramping over them, then walling to box them in. And ideally, if you box in your opponent this way in a real match, don't just edit the ramp and force a 50-50. Edit out, then go for a peek that's in your favor. We'll show you how to do this in one of the later drills. But for now, Drill 9 is all about high walls, which are just so incredibly useful for retaking high ground given how straightforward they are. But essentially, you 180 towards your opponent when you reach the top of your ramp and build two walls, including a high one that requires you to aim your crosshair upward. Once you get that top wall down, switch to your ramp and then move your crosshair down. If you do it right, it should be one swift movement that gets the high wall placed and has you land on your ramp. From there, edit the high wall. And you don't necessarily have to peace control since that speed catches most players off guard. Still, it's always an option to ramp, box them in, and make your play from there. Drill 10 replicates the scenario where someone ramps over top of you. So what you do here is build a wall behind the ramp jump to the side and attach a second wall, and then catch yourself on a floor. That wall you put behind your opponent's ramp should block them, so commonly, they'll move out to the side, which is why you place that second wall. In this drill, edit it, place a cone or mongrel classic, and finish the bot off. Drill 11 is another ramp push scenario but this time your ramp is next to your enemies. What you do here for peace control is cone your opponent's ramp, then wall in between. Then what you do, depending on the strategy, is either edit the wall and start shooting, or perform a safe edit and box your opponent with walls. Both these strategies are fine, it really just depends on how your opponent plays it. But if you want something consistent, edit and go for shots. And if you see your opponent trying to run, then you can box them and start shooting again. Now, Trills 12 and 13 are nearly identical. They have this long diagonal corridor where your objective is to wall, edit, ramp, and edit. Then shoot every bot you see. This scenario is excellent for mechanic practice, but also for practicing peace control as you rush your enemy. For Drill 12, just use ramps, but for Drill 13, place cones instead. Cones are what we see used the most by pro players when they rush at someone like this, so you definitely want to get some practice with cones as well. So I told you we'd show how to avoid those 50-50s when you box someone, and Drill 14 is what I meant. Here, you have your opponent behind a ramp, so you quickly get the side walls, place a cone above you, edit out that cone, and then drop and go for a window edit on the back wall. Preferably, you should build a ramp when you drop so you have a more elevated angle, but just make sure to set up a right hand peak. It doesn't have to be a window edit, but any edit that gives you an edge. Finally, we have reached the last drill on this map, and there are two ways we'd like to complete this one. How you're supposed to do it is jump up from the cone, get a wall in front of the bot while you catch yourself with the floor, then edit and box your opponent. And this is definitely a great combo for build fights. But we also like to practice a particular technique that's useful for box fighting and competitive end games. For this, start off by cone flooring above you, like you're in a box and you have an enemy where this bot is. From here, you're going to edit the cone and floor, 
place a wall, edit that, and then go for a jump shot from below. And after you shoot, quickly cone your opponent's floor just to prevent them from ramping. If you can position to make a right hand peek as you make your final edit, go for it. But overall, this is just another way you can repurpose this drill for a practical scenario that you will actually encounter in games. Now that is it for the drills, but just know that Don Wazi added a few more helpful features on this map. There are portals to other maps, a peace control free building section, and a combat course. And we found the combat course extremely beneficial when it comes to identifying which peace control moves you should use. And it's surprisingly fun and fast paced too. So we highly recommend going through it after you've done each drill. Which, by the way, you should do at least every other day when you come on to play. You cannot just do these drills for one day and become a peace control expert. It's going to require multiple playthroughs for you to really memorize the patterns and become used to performing these. So like with everything else we show you on this channel, practice, 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 and you will slowly but surely see noticeable improvement. That's it for the video though. Thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe with the bell turned on for more. And again, thanks to Don Wazi for the map. If you liked it, don't forget to check out the link in the description for more. Once again, I'm your host, Cody. Good luck out there, and I'll see you next time.